The Amazon rainforest is one of the great marvels in the world, as it's the largest rainforest on Earth, covering 5.5 million square kilometers, which is almost the size of the United States, and about 28 times the size of the United Kingdom. Because of its size and rich plant life, it's called the lungs of the Earth, as the plants and trees absorb large amounts of carbon dioxide and release large amounts of oxygen through photosynthesis. The Amazon River that runs through the rainforest is the largest river in the world by volume. Along with the rich plant life, the Amazon rainforest is teeming with animal life, even containing species still unknown to science. Today, I will introduce you to a few of the animal inhabitants, a few you likely never heard of. Piranhas have garnered quite a reputation due to their teeth and the myth that they are a danger to humans. But in fact, these omnivores shy away from big animals and pose low threat to humans. Theodore Roosevelt is credited for giving piranha their bad reputation for attacking humans when he wrote about his trip to the Amazon describing them as bloodthirsty. Little did he know that the piranha display he was given was just a show and not the true nature of the fish. These ambush predators' diet consists mostly of insects, mollusks, worms, small fish, and some plant matter. But they often feed in large groups to kill larger prey like capybaras. Piranhas have few predators in the wild, except man. Margay cats are similar in size and weight to a house cat. Unlike a house cat, they prefer heights and spend most of their time in trees. Being nocturnal cats, they do most of their hunting at night and sneak up on birds, rodents, and even small monkeys for food. They are known for being agile and acrobatic when hunting in trees and are a formidable predator. Don't let the beautiful coat and eyes fool you. This aggressive cat is one you want to stay away from. Green anacondas are one of the largest snakes in the world at 30 feet and 12 inches in diameter. They can weigh up to a quarter of a ton and may not be a ton of fun to run into in the Amazon. Green anacondas are carnivorous ambush hunters and lay in wait for their prey to come for a drink of water. Their prey includes wild pigs, deer, birds, turtles, capybara, caimans, and even jaguars. Their prey gets a hug they'll never forget. There are many species of capuchin monkeys in the Amazon rainforest and are one of the most intelligent and adaptable of the New World monkeys. They've learned to use tools to process their food and access underground resources, defend against predators and mash centipedes to spread on themselves to deter mosquitoes. Capuchin monkeys have prehensile tails which they use to hold or grasp objects, which is what differentiates them from Old World monkeys. They live in groups of 10 to 35 and can jump up to nine feet, which is one of the ways they get around the forest. A typical diet for capuchin monkeys includes fruit, insects, leaves, and small birds. They are particularly good at catching frogs and cracking nuts, and it is suspected that they may also feed on small mammals. Poison dart frog. These colorful amphibians are about the size of a paperclip and are one of the most poisonous species, they don't use their poison to attack, but rather are toxic to any animal that eats them. The colorful skin of these critically endangered frogs serve as a warning to any predator. They are said to get their poison from the insects they eat. Those born, raised in human care do not become poisonous as a result, since they don't have access to the proper insects. The male frogs are the ones who care for the eggs and then tadpoles once they're born. They come in a wide range of colors and can live between 3 to 15 years. Pygmy marmoset are the smallest primates in the world, weighing approximately 3.5 ounces and are sometimes called finger monkeys. They live in groups of 5 to 10, near rivers and floodplains. Pygmy marmoset are shy and camouflage themselves in trees. They have specially adapted teeth to chew through bark to get to tree sap and gum with their tongues as well as eating fruits, nectar, and insects. They are most active during the earlier part of the day when it's cooler where they spend a third of their day looking for food and another third sleeping when they're not hunting bugs. Jaguarundi 
The Jaguarundi cat is a rare breed of small cat that is an efficient climber, but do most of their hunting on the ground. Unlike other cats who will shy away from confrontation, the Jaguarundi is aggressive and mean when encountered. Additionally, they are quite vocal, with at least 13 different calls having been recorded, including a purr, scream, whistle, chatter, yap, and a chirp like a bird. This unique-looking cat is most closely related to the cougar. Amazon River Dolphin When most people think of dolphins, it's the bottlenose dolphin that comes to mind. But the Amazon has its own quirky species of dolphin called the Amazon River Dolphin. Its looks are unmistakable with his long nose and pinkish skin. Like other species of dolphins, they are cute and look like they're giving a cheeky smile. One difference you can't see is, unlike other dolphins, their vertebrae are unfused, which allows them to turn their heads. There is a lot of folklore around the river dolphin. One story claims that if you're swimming alone, the river dolphin may whisk you away to a magical underwater city. Sounds like fun. Electric eel. Despite their names, electric eels are technically not eels, but knife fish. Electric eels are found in the fresh waters of the middle and lower Amazon and Orinoco river basins. They prefer side channels, but can also be found further inland in oxbow lakes, streams, pools, and flooded forests. Each fish can produce up to 860 volts of electricity, which is five times that of a USA electric socket. The voltage can stun an adult human or take down small prey. While seen to be solitary fish, they live in groups of up to 100. They work together to herd small fish and amphibians to then shock their prey and eat. They also use low levels of electricity to explore and navigate their surroundings. The capybaras are the world's largest rodent, semi-aquatic, that live in groups of 10 to 20 and can grow up to 4.5 feet long and 145 pounds. They are herbivores who eat 6 to 8 pounds of land and aquatic plants a day. Their closest relative is actually the guinea pig. While they are agile swimmers, they also do well on land as they are great runners, reaching up to 20 miles per hour, which is as fast as a horse. A fun fact about capybaras as they're live ottomans as other capybaras will let other animals like monkeys, rabbits, and birds sit on them. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you've learned something new about this amazing part of the world. Please comment below and let me know what animals or areas of the world you'd like me to do a video about next. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.